Hi guys, Murder here. Welcome back to Gary Grisby War in the East, the German campaign. In this episode, we will be dealing with Army Group South. Recently, we have mm, moved Army Group Center, earlier Army Group North, and now we will be de dealing with Army Group South. Let me just fix the uh, icons. Okay. Yeah. The situation in the army group south looks like this. We have we have uh, not visited this part of the front for a long time. We have here some light blue mm, mobile units from Heinz Guderian Panzergruppe that belong to actually army group center, but we have uh, leased them for a few weeks that assisted us in encircling and destroying a lot of Soviet troops in the south. So we have uh, one Panzer Corps in Kiev and one Panzer Corps a little bit to the north. Besides that, we have the organic um, Panzer, uh, Panzer Gruppe in the south, that is the orange one, which is aiming at Petrovsk and Zaporozhye. Mm. Yep. They are uh, they are a little bit scattered, but we managed to keep control uh, of uh, of the of the units. Further back, we have some Romanians intermingled with uh, Germans, uh, traveling on a slow speed from Romania, and here we have infantry catching up from um, from Germany, uh, occupied Poland. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we have encircled out of uh, Soviet troops and not yet uh, mopped them up because why spend time and uh, and deal with um, units that are actually already dead and not moving further east. Uh, okay, so to start, let's start with the rear area, of course. So, the infantry. Yeah, we have one big group of enemy units here. Let's use the rebirth attack. And failed. They have way too much supplies. For now, let's try again. Now we succeeded. Okay. So, only NKVD border, border regiment uh, is remaining. Very good. Here we have one security unit. Let's move it up. Capturing the, the heads called Pripyat marshes. Yeah. Mm, now in the sorry, mm, in the rear we have Slovakian corps. Uh, two units, two divisions. Let's use them. I don't know. Let's risk. The, let's risk the hasty attack first. No, it failed. So let's do a deliberate attack with both. I think here's level one of port. Oh, it still failed. Okay. What did I expect? Okay. We did what we could. Need to wait when the supplies run dry. We have here some more security divisions. Let's use the rebuild attack. And this one actually worked. Let's use the rebuild attack here. And this one didn't. We can group them up and try one more hasty attack. Okay. Actual combat. Also burns burns down the the supply. Oops, huge stack. Okay. Okay. No, okay. Let's come back. Uh, actual combat burns down the enemy supplies. So the more they fight, the less uh, supplies they will have in the next turns. Here we have one German division. 
this is level 2 fort, so I doubt I should attack it. You can group it up with the Slovakians. Just like one division and try a hasty attack on this position. There's mountain and level 2 fort, so uh, it's hard to hard to breach and to starve them out. One tank division actually has been depleted completely. There's level 2 fort again. That's only cavalry in the division. Let's try. Okay, thanks to Maybe we could have succeeded there, but oh well. Oh well. Very good, very good. Yeah, tough fight, tough fight. Here we have like 300 kilometers made from the border to Kiev, and here we have like 40 from the border to Lvov, and we still cannot push. Yeah. <laughs> Great success. Uh, here I'm wondering how many units should we actually leave to deal with the Soviet and how many should we push east. I think this is quite a nice division, so let's so let's move up. What do we have? 13, 14 and 7. We can leave the 7 to fight. I don't know if we'd be actually able to fight. So let's accompany it with one more one more division. Yep. Let's start to clean at least some of them some of them up. I won't, uh, won't be attacking this stack any, anytime soon. And this stack is also big. Let's try, but... Oh, oh. It actually worked. Very good. Move up. This division goes further up. Here, Slovakian Mobile Brigade. I will deal with it later, maybe. Should I leave one more division here? One more, but it's it's the last one. It's a nice division. Probably should. Okay. Some here, some there. Level to fort actually worked. Okay. 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 Yeah. So this this HQ will be governing the mopping up operations. Everything goes further up. This one goes further up as well. <coughs> Should I leave one? No, I don't think so. I don't think so. Maybe if they reach the border. Uh, let's leave one. If they have a good attack. So I will leave it as it is. Mm. You know what? You know what? I forgot to recon. That's my bad. Always recon first. Oh, I see. There we go. Some Soviets. <laughs> In Cherkasse, I think that these are only HQs, there is uh, one infantry division more, and there is a second. Some more units, one unit in the top 
theaters. Now here in the deep south. Which feels the film, maybe here some infantry. Oh, and some more in Odessa. Yeah. I always reconfess, I always forget. Yeah, that's the regular stuff. Hmm? I'm it. Click, 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 click. This is an ancient division to deal with the deal with the brigade here. The brigades actually don't exert zone of control. So they don't block movement, but better to have it dealt with. Yeah. Let's click now on the on the HQs. We have one division here, one division here, and one division in the south. This division will be marching. Probably somewhere. Here. So we may need to rearrange the, the division. The, this march and fight, some of the units stay in the fight, some of them move up. So it's not so easy to keep uh, scrutiny. Here we have one, two, so let's move this here up. So it stays close to. So it stays close to the into his friends from the same core mm -hmm. you mean mountain core yeah what do we have more we have here this division it's um, here with this one we can move it down 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 move it down and now we form here a triangle with this one forgotten unit that mm, belongs to this, this core that has been left, uh, left behind, so we can rearrange to the 44th core. 44th, 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 here. points. Okay, so we, mm, so we set it out on the fly. Yeah, mm. here we have this core. Yeah, it has one, two, three, four divisions. Let's send it maybe a bit to the north. So we keep the contiguous front line. And um, it's HQ as one division here, so we stick to it. We can send it a bit south, a bit to the south. Okay, okay. Yeah, and the big question is what do we do with the. Mm, uh, armored units. What do we do? What do, what's what's the plan? So the strategy games, the in general, they are usually they're mostly about decisions. And decisions is the meat of the game. So the, the strategy is how do you um, what do you decide to do with uh, with your units? It's not like just moving around and clicking and clicking fight and looking at the result. Now the, the big big things are the decisions. So we have two cores here, uh, 24th and 46th Panzer Corps. And the question is, 
what do we do with them? Ideally, the plan is to send them north and assist on uh, attacking Moscow. But behind the Dniepr river, behind, behind this huge, huge river, the supply situation is atrocious because we went with the southern strategy earlier and our railhead is down south. So the, um, the distance from the railhead to Kiev and over the river is huge. So behind the river we will be receiving little to none, um, little to none uh, supplies and fuel. So once we move behind, then we are stuck there for a few turns mm, while we wait that the supplies trickle down to our units slowly. We can also mm, reinforce by planes, like refuel the, the units by planes, but we don't have many planes to do that, and most of them are down north. We have some units here in the, in the army, in the air, air bases. But their mm, range is also limited, quite. And the, mm, they also mm, need to uh, refuel the orange group. Uh, and here we can see also the mm, Soviet stiffening uh, resistance. They have put here quite uh, strong divisions for strength fish. The, these are none like not like uh, one, mm, one uh, strong uh, recruit divisions, but these are quite capable of fighting actually, especially in good terrain. So my mm, proposition is that we stick to our earlier <coughs> plans, or maybe the earlier tactic, that we use one core to drive and one core to refuel. So we do the um, HQ buildup. So this core has only 19, 18 movement points, 14. So it has not um, the capability of moving far um, to the front. This one, um, these, these units have quite the capability. We can uh, do two things. The first thing is to go north. Go conquer Chernihov and aim at Homia. We link up the troops here. We don't let the Soviets build any uh, any resistance here, or if they build, we encircle it and destroy it. And we go faster to Moscow. And also the supplies receiving that we'll be receiving um, from the Army Group Center will be way better and way higher. So there is the one idea. The second idea is to drive actually here and to the south and uh, encircle the stiffening resistance from the mm, from the Soviets. And this is a big decision because once we, we go here and to the south, then here we will receive none, no fuel. We will receive zero supply, zero fuel. Or at least I think so. I haven't tested it, but uh, mm, I think that this is what will happen. So the question is, what do we do? We can encircle probably those divisions because we have already some infantry. Or do we? Yeah, here we have some infantry in place, so we can cross the river. Get. Mm, we play like bump the airfields, these are not combat units, and using the mobile formations from the, front, uh, from the top, uh, flank it and circle it. And uh, so the big question is um, how do we proceed? Here in the, in the center, we actually drove the panzers forward and then a little bit back, but we gained a lot of ground. Here let's proceed a different way. Here let's stand, mm, stand up and fight the Soviets and uh, destroy as many divisions as possible. 
Why? Because the... <coughs> I don't know why. I actually don't, don't, don't really know why. I think that destroying the Red Army and not letting it rebuild uh, is very important. So we maintain the tempo and they have no reserves on the, on the front line. If we leave it as it is, they will build more and more troops here and form a contiguous line on the Dnepr that will be uh, harder and harder to um, the breach. Not only on the Dnepr, but they will, when we... Um, they can be pushed back, but they will flood the uh, area with more and more units. So the, uh, the idea is to piecemeal destroy the units that are placed at our front line. So they don't have the opportunity to create a huge resistance line, the wall of steel or something like this. So how do we proceed it? Finally we have our infantry on the on the front line actually. So we can make big use of it. Let's find the uh, division. This one has six uh, movement points on this hex. This one has only three, so this division can only do hasty attack, and this division can do mm, deliberate attack. Why do we need to attack this uh, formation? Because here we have only two hexes wide gap, and we need three hexes wide gap because otherwise the movement cost is prohibitive to exploit the mm, to exploit the uh, bridge, and we have here one division to exploit the bridge. Now it goes like only up to this hex. But when we remove this, uh, this division, it will go uh, way, way to the um, Soviet back line. Okay, so what do we do? Do we risk the um, hasty attack or do we go for the deliberate attack? I think go for the deliberate attack because it's safer. Can move up the HP a little bit also. I don't know does it, if it works. Uh, we we'll uh, we went with a safer option. Mm. And we succeeded. We used up all our movement points. But here we have mm, more, uh, more infantry. And I think. No no possibility of deliberate attack, so we do hasty attack. Yeah, we push them back. And we also push them back a little bit further. Here we have those tasty airfields. And I'm tempted to go with the Panzer Division actually from the south. Maybe it is. Because when you go to the north, here you can see only two movement points remain because here we cross two major rivers and it's not really good for the tanks. So here we have only two movement points, but here we have 13. So let's actually try it from the from the south. Because we cross the river here that we have the bridge had we have secured in the last turn. So the movement points cost is uh, actually very low. Here we cross in the enemy ter territory, so the movement cost is very high. I can get, grab some more fuel. Hmm. Let's leave it for now, because we need to have the northern pincer. It's only regiment, so it doesn't exert a zone of control, and it's not ideal to use it as a pincer because if we used only the, mm, the regiment, there would be only one uh, row of hexes uh, converted. Using the division, you have two rows of hexes converted because it's using the zone of control. Uh, yeah. But how do we proceed? We have one more infantry division. I could push this unit a little bit back, or I can place it here. So 
so it prevents the escape. I think I will play, place it here. Mm. Let's use the Panzer Division. To widen the gap and let's think how the Soviets can break out so the uh, this division can move like here here and here the once it enters the zone of control it cannot move away or it can move like here here it cannot move here and it cannot move here uh, if you know what I'm talking about the, the zone of control is one Hex to the mm, around each uh, each unit, which is the size of a division. And yeah, so I think this mm, this side is secure, but the northern si side is not really secure because this division can go right here, right here, and right here, and connect with the mm, Soviet territory. So the pocket is not mm, tight. So let's place the. Let's place the um, regiment uh, conveniently, mm, conveniently in this place. You know, we could place it maybe here even. Oh, maybe not. Yeah. Well, let's move the division. Uh, I mean, not the division, but the core. Yeah. But the, the supply situation will be terrible. But we we'll, we have captured four. Uh, quite strong um, Russian units. We could use the uh, this core to not the, the core itself, but we could also only move it like maybe here. And we could try the transfer to the, the southern um, units, but I'd rather uh, leave it for one turn and do um, the build-up. We are too far from the railroad, so I hope it's actually possible because I don't know how far the railroad is. Yeah, okay. It was probably the this river blocking our supply path. Oh, just one hex. So. Three units. So it's these three units, and yes, we took it eight. Only eight um, administrative points uh, remain. And we are actually mm, short on time because I talked too much and not move enough. We have one forgotten here Slovakian mobile brigade. and. We can drive up to Cherkasy, for example, or capture the uh, the Kiev, uh, the Kiev bridgehead on the other on the other side. Would be. We can leave the maybe the cavalry to capture Cherkasy. No, we can use this Romanian armored division for Cherkasy. Yeah, so let's leave it to Romanians and Slovakians go to Kiev. It's not actually important. It's just uh, just a bridgehead, so the units can move freely from one side to, uh, to uh, another. The supplies can flow a little bit easier, and yeah. Mm, we will sort out the HQs later, I think. Yeah, I will sort it uh, sort it out later. Let's move to the actual units. I'll probably do the uh, admin uh, admin part of the um, video as well. Here, let's clean up the clean up the remaining uh, rushes or not. Because they held. Let's try again. Now succeed. Surrendered. But we cannot move. I don't think we will succeed. Can I here? Can try. Yeah, it's 11. 
I succeed. Yeah. That's kind of exploit. Here we have some uh, Hungarians. We have some Hungarians. It's actually the military brigade, but they cannot do, go any far anyway. Let's stack it up and try to um, try to break through on the other side. I'm not seeing it. Oh well, yeah. Now I saw this. Good, good, good. But we cannot move any further. Only the motorized. Yeah, and it can fight. This is quite, quite good, yeah. It's good enough, I think. <laughs> it's not quite good. It has barely beaten a security regiment. Um, yeah, what happens in the south, in the far south? I will try to um, do this quickly. Here is our um, railroad repair um, troops. And we have to clear the way for it, so there is no excuses uh, for any uh, for any um, Soviet units being here. We uh, we beat them back. I moved the units here into the mountains because if the Soviets retreat into the mountains, that's, then we have big problems removing them from the, from the area. Yes. Yeah, we nice, 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 nice. Yeah, it's a Romanian infantry division in the German core. Great. Great idea. Let's use the help of um, this unit and together the power of hasty attacks. And they actually surrendered. The power of hasty attacks. It worked now. Let's use the mm, air landing division. It's the best. It's the best division uh, here in the area and let's do this yeah. very good I think they will manage on their own yep so we use the other nation to security yes and hopefully we can use the cavalry to remove it no the cavalry is too weak so maybe now oh, let's use the regular regular Germans German formations I could leave it actually here, but I started, so let's finish it. Or not. Or later. <laughs> no. It says one. It says one, and we cannot. Now the, mm, the enemy is beaten, so maybe the cavalry works. Not really. Not really. No. We can add third brigade. No <laughs> oh well. Oh well. Let's leave it. Let's leave it for now. Uh, I stand 
beat me. <laughs> Let's use some Romanians. Let's free stack the Romanians. No, still not a, not a possibility. Let's use a very bad attack. And it's hit or not. Quite realistic that the um, Soviets put up um, quite a, a formidable fight because the, in real life the, um, the Soviet formations did actually um, fight and uh, inflicted a lot of losses on the German side when they fight, uh, fought from uh, circumstances. And it's quite realistic. The mm, German troops being uh, around Kirovograd in uh, July, in the 10th of July, at the beginning of July, it's not realistic at all. <laughs> so yeah, well, we have this encirclement thing going on for yeah, but but yeah, <laughs> but it's all about real realism. Where we said we wanted to send the armored division to Cherkasy. Okay, and no, 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 I'm not engaging. And put the infantry forward. We have some more cavalry. Yeah, cavalry can attack this division. Whoa! Whoa! It actually succeeded. Impossible! Impossible. Let's move the, the uh, railway. We are way, uh, way to the um, to the back, comparing to Army Group North and Army Group Center, mainly because the, we had to rail the uh, the unit to Romania, and uh, uh, additionally we had to um, we had to. Uh, repair the regular Soviet uh, Soviet line, not the uh, Baltic zone uh, railroad. So it's much higher, much harder, much higher, yeah, much higher. It's Okay, some more Romanians. Mm, we have here some, some fights to do. Gates. I doubt they are capable of uh, engaging with cavalry, but we'll try. We'll try anyways. Or not. No, with one brigade, we won't try. Mm. Yeah, and what's left is the mobile mm, mobile troops. Here we have uh, three. Three cores, yeah. The third core, the fourteenth mm, core, and the forty-eighth um, core. So we need to also decide what to do with them. Uh, let's 
proceed with the mm, wait, regular um, manner here. So we uh, drive with one core, mm, build up with the other, and the third goes like halfway through. We cannot actually do that because we have only eight, um, eight movement points, but we can um, we can just stay back, stay to the back. And I think I will keep. How far do we can? How far can we go? We can go as far as the Dnipropetrovsk. That's interesting. I will take this opportunity and my ladies and gentlemen we soon when this unit moves finally mm, we soon be actually in control of the city so take a look it's turn 4 10 of July and the Panzer unit is in Dnipropetrovsk from 22nd of June to the 10th of July, we have traveled this far from uh, from the border to Dnipropetrovsk, and we captured the city. Here we have uh, we see the yellow um, yellow mark symbolizing that it's way um, ahead of the supply, but it doesn't matter. Why? Because we captured the Dnipropetrovsk. And this is what's important. This unit actually stands in the way. I can do a small trick here. This Panzer Corps will be like slow moving, so I can do something like this maybe this maybe this let's move the HP back a bit so it doesn't get banned and we actually not in circuit but we attack it so the, the enemy gets routed we can bump them a little bit more we captured Krivorok. Krivorok means like mm, bended horn, or not not a straight horn. <laughs> In um, Russian, Ukrainian, and so on. Yeah, now let's move this mm, this core. Maybe a bit to the south, so we create a nice screen. Can get some supplies maybe here, some fuel, which is nice. Which is very nice. Do some more. Actually, this team, there is a, a unit there. Mm. Oh, okay. Okay. Mm. This unit is actually from this core. Oops. Oops. I said I will mm, keep them mm, in the like the reserve. Well, I like. <laughs> nice thing is here. Again. I hungered for some fuel, that's why I drove my, my, my unit here. We actually encircled the. I don't know what is it. Airborne Brigade, that was great. Yeah, never mind. But the rest of the unit can. Um, can group up here yeah. and rest. The, mm, the rail, rail is quite mm, 
quite close. So mm, we'll be receiving some more fuel and we'll also fly some more fuel. There is the transfer group. I have not decided to which core will be flying the fuel for this. Mm, please watch my next video, which is about um, administration, fuel flying, and maybe some general discussion about I don't know what maybe the realism of the game, how the how this game reflects actual combat, the, the actual operation Barbarossa, maybe. But it's a huge topic and. Uh, I could talk for an, uh, like an hour for about this, so maybe just a short, uh, short story. Uh, okay, so I think we moved the bulk of the um, army group south. We have encircled here some units. We have discussed some things. So, mm, mm, so thank you for watching, and see you in the next video and more and more videos that will be coming soon thanks guys and sorry for the uh, video being a bit too long bye